Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the intersection with imaginary axis. What is this inter intersection with imaginary axis? In this, in the last class, we discussed about yeah, whenever we are drawing the root locus, whenever we are drawing the root locus, for example, some root locus will have like this. So whenever we have a root locus, whenever two poles are available, the root locus is like this. It will it break away point from this. It will go to the some imaginary axis like this. Imaginary axis like this. So it will be root locus will be entering and touch at imaginary axis and it will be flowing. This is also the touch at imaginary axis and it will flow like this. So this point where it touches the imaginary axis these points these points as intersection of imaginary axis wherever the root locus touches the points is known as is known as intersection of imaginary axis intersection of imaginary axis imaginary axis we need to find out these points we need to find out these points so look at here this is the intersection of imaginary axis how we will find out this imaginary axis means first point form the characteristic equation that means you know the characteristic equation what is the characteristic equation 1 plus g of s h of s is equals to 0 nothing but the characteristic equation and it will give the information of the poles yes and write the RH criteria next you will go for write the RH criteria what is RH criteria Ruth Hurwitz criteria by drawing this we will get the which are how stable or not unstable and marginally stable like this thought find the K marginal so we will we will get the gain that is marginal gain k marginal fourth form the auxiliary equation what is auxiliary equation wherever we have for example so rh criteria s cube s square s power 1 s power 0 is there for example we have the zeros here then by using this we will form the auxiliary equation the auxiliary equation like this ax square plus b equal to 0 because maximum is here like that Fifth, the roots of the auxiliary equation, the roots of A means auxiliary equation give the valid and invalid points of the intersection with imaginary axis. So sometimes it will give the valid points, sometimes it will give the invalid points. So sometimes it will give the combination of valid and invalid points. Okay, so those are separate, those are separate valid and invalid points. Sixth, for valid intersection, K marginal should be positive. So wherever the valid points are available, that K marginal must and should be the positive. So whenever K means gain, gain means always positive. Wherever we have the positive gain, that is give positive, valid point. So valid. So if we get the K value is for example negative, then that point is invalid because gain is the constant it must and should be the positive okay by using this process we will get these intersection points intersection point with the imaginary axis so in order to understand this concept we will solve one problem here the problem is find the intersection point with imaginary axis g of s h of s equal to k by s into s plus 2 s plus 4 so this is the question once again write the given open loop transfer function that is g of s h of s is equal you will get k by s into s plus 2 and the s plus 4 okay this is the given open loop transfer function 
in this generally you know the poles number of poles is 3 the poles are what are the poles 0 is the one pole minus 2 is the another pole minus 4 is the another pole what about zeros generally there is no zeros zeros will be 0 zeros will be 0 and we don't we didn't know zeros but you should take whenever the zeros is there is no zeros you will take the asymptotes infinite and infinite and the infinite here he is asking to find the intersection point with the imaginary axis so what is the first step first step is to take form a characteristic equation the characteristic equation is 1 plus g of s into h of s is equals to 0 in this 1 plus g of, g of s h of s is this is the value just write down this value k by s into s plus 2 and s plus 4 is equals to 0 so by doing the lcm by doing the lcm we will solve like this s into s plus 2 s plus 4 plus k is equals to 0 so we will solve like this s into by solving this we will get s square plus 2s plus 4s 6s okay 2 into 4 8 plus k is equals to 0 from this finally by doing the multiplication we will get the s cube and 6 s square plus 8 s plus k is equals to 0 okay finally we are getting the auxiliary equation the auxiliary equation is auxiliary equation is s cube plus 6 s square plus 8 s plus k is equals to 0 this is the auxiliary equation so in this we will find out we will form a rh criteria from that we will take the auxiliary equation from that we will move so actually this is not auxiliary equation this is the characteristic equation so we will find out directly wherever the equation is third degree we will follow one thing one thing is so we will find directly inside inside multiplication equal to outside multiplication inside multiplication means this is the inside multiplication 6 into 8 and this is the outside multiplication so inside multiplication is the 6 into 8 equal to outside multiplication is 1 into k from this we will find out k equal to 6 4 ja 48 directly we will get the k value is the 48 gain value is the 48 so now we should form the auxiliary equation how we will form the auxiliary equation the auxiliary equation we should form like this so directly we will form the auxiliary equation the auxiliary equation i will write directly by using this what is the maximum what is the maximum uh, maximum degree after s cube is 6x square and what is the uh, minimum minimum is s power 0 a 6x square plus k is equals to 0 here so from this substitute k value here 6x square plus k value is 48 is equals to 0 so here 6x square equal to minus 48 6 1 ja 6 4 ja okay here the s square equal to minus 4 from this s square equal to in place of minus i will write the j square plus 4 here the s square equal to uh, j square into 2 square from this we can write s value equal to 6 4 ja sorry 6 i ja this is not 4 ja 6 4 ja is 44 6 i ja is right so this is the eight and this is the eight so wherever the eight is there i will replace this eight with the 2 into root 2 okay 2 into root 2 whole square so we will get two things one is s1 equal 
plus j2 root 2 and another one equal to s2 equal to minus j2 root 2 plus j2 root 2 and minus j root 2 okay so we will get the imaginary axis it will touch at the plus j root 2 so plus j is imaginary axis and second is touch at the minus j root 2 it will touch at the minus j2 root 2 so here now we will draw the we will draw the root locus we will understand very clearly so again before that uh, we will take the given thing the given equal to g of s and h of s is equal to k by s into s plus 2 and s plus 4 yes so i will draw the root locus here so i will take the s plane I will take the S plane here. I will take the S plane here. Yes. Here first is first pole is S equal to 0 directly. Then second pole is S equal to minus 2. S equal to minus 2. Third pole is S equal to minus 4. So we have the three poles. And there is no root locus diagram so there is no root locus diagram but here there will be a root locus branch maybe it will be it should be a centroid it should be a centroid and it has it doesn't have any rl branch but it have some rl branch so this is also a rl so we have rl branches is like this we have rl branches is like this and we have centroid uh, centroid maybe this this and this we don't know where it is but minus 2 minus 4 minus 6 maybe here the centroid point if you find out the centroid this is the point because minus 3 maybe because you should find out no problem at all what is centroid minus 2 minus 4 minus 0 by 3 <coughs> equal to minus 6 by 3 again minus 2 is there minus 2 is there maybe these these are the centroid point from this we will take these are the two two asymptotes and here also the two asymptotes okay so the breakaway point we will get somewhere between these we don't have the breakaway point just you should find the breakaway point also no problem at all and between two poles we have it will be entering and between two poles it will be entering after that so it will it will follow like this after that it will follow like this so it will follow and it will touch again it will be going same this is also it will follow and it will touch is here and again it will follow like this it will follow like this and it will be touch the our root locus will be touch at this point and the this point where it touch maybe this is the positive imaginary axis this must be the j2 root and it will touch at the negative imaginary axis this may be the j2 root 2 and this branch will be go in this direction this branch will be go in this infinite and this is also reach some infinite it will also reach some infinite so these are the uh, imaginary axis intersection of imaginary axis one is plus j root 2 another one is the minus j root 2 okay so this is about the intersection with intersection point with the imaginary axis okay so i hope all of you understand this session thank you